The religion which discriminates between two people is partial. And the religion which treats crows of its adherence worse than dogs and criminals and inflicts upon them insufferable disabilities is no religion at all. Religion and slavery are incompatible. be a more degrading system of social organization than Chaturvarnia. It is the system which deadens, paralyzes and cripples the people from helpful activity. For centuries they lived like this in perpetual penury and social slavery. They were at the bottom, a part of the Hindu social order, and yet they were forced to live away from habitation. The untouchables of India, the pariahs of Hindu society, their humiliation and degradation ordained by Manu, the great lawgiver. his life to lift them up from the darkness of millennia old social brutality and injustice who gave them dignity self-respect and a will to fight for their human rights His decrepit ancestral home at Ambadeve in coastal Kolaba district of Maharashtra and the stark locality and side tombs of his ancestors at nearby Dapoli may have a story to tell. A story of brutal social exploitation sanctioned by religion and the sacred scripts, of miseries imposed by a perfidious and inhuman social system. has it that a spiritual ancestor blessed Ramji and his wife Bhima that they will bear a son. A son who will brighten the dark horizon of his people. The son Bhimrao was thus born on 14th April 1891 in the military colony of Mao in Madhya Pradesh, his father being a subedar major in the Indian Army. Though an untouchable, the father was a devout admirer of the famous Saint Kabir and taught his songs to Bhimrao, who was greatly influenced by the humanistic ideals of the medieval secular saint. <laughs> यार है हम में हमन को इंतजारी क्या कबीरा इश्क का माता ओ कब 
कबीरा इश्क का माता दुई को दूर कर दिल से जो चलना राह ना झुक है भीमराव स्पेंट हिज चाइल्डहुड एट दापोली हमन सिर बोझ हिज फैमिली शिफ्टेड टू सातारा वे ही लॉस्ट हिज मदर जो बिछुड़े हैं प्यारे से He was thus brought up under the loving care of his paternal aunt Mirabai. It is not difficult to imagine how the young Ambedkar's sensitive mind reacted to the treatment the untouchables were given. In school the teachers were kind and compassionate one of the brahmin teachers was fond of young bhim and was so impressed by his intellect that he lent his own name to the young student and thus bhimrao ambedkar became bhimrao ambedkar <laughs> Nevertheless, caste discrimination was galore. The barber would not touch Bhim's hair for fear of being polluted. It was his sister who trimmed his hair. Bhim and his brother were made to sit outside the class on gunny cloth. for they felt their touch would pollute the other high caste students and the teachers bhim could not drink water from the common pitcher learning sanskrit was taboo for the untouchables the orthodox teachers dared not allow young bhim to learn the language of the vedas later in the cosmopolitan elphinstone school at bombay too bhim had to suppress his fervent desire to study sanskrit and was forced to take persian instead their woes were endless once when young bhim and his brother set out to go to a nearby village in a bullock cart the carriage owner threw them out on learning they were untouchables on the way no savarna would serve them water to quench their thirst go away go away people said and asked them to drink from a filthy wayside pool despite the congested accommodation ambedkar's family had in bombay first in dabak chol and then in the bombay improvements trust chol surrounded by the labor area and the underworld young bhim pursued his studies diligently often sleeping in the company of goats reading in public parks and under street lamps once when bhimrao was asked by the teacher to solve an example on the board the panic stricken savarna boys scrambled first to remove their tiffin boxes from behind the blackboard to prevent them from being polluted turn in any direction you like caste is the monster that crosses your path you cannot have political reforms unless you kill this monster ambedkar was married immediately after his success in the matriculation examination in the baikala public vegetable market the age of the groom 17 years and the bride ramai 9 years education continued graduation he served the progressive minded maharaja of baroda sayaji rao gaikwad who provided ambedkar with a scholarship to go abroad before he set sail ambedkar lost his father
Then, on to the United States of America. The land of liberty and equality. The land of Thomas Jefferson and Abraham Lincoln. To pursue higher studies. Columbia University, New York. To begin with, he stayed at the Hartley Hall, the university dormitory, but the food did not suit him, and so he shifted to the Cosmopolitan Club, 114th Street, where most Indian students stayed. And then, at the Livingston Hall dormitory, with a kind and very helpful Parsi friend and admirer, Naval Bhatena. Political science, moral philosophy, anthropology, sociology, and economics were his subjects of interest in Colombia, where he could quench his thirst for knowledge in the libraries rich with books. Ambedkar had a passion for knowledge and an obsession with books. Above all, he knew he must study hard to fight his battles back at home. He drove himself to keep a punishing schedule, foregoing all the comforts, spending all of his time in libraries, burning the midnight oil. Often, he sustained himself on a loaf of bread and a cup of coffee. He had to save a considerable amount from his paltry scholarship to remit money to his family in India.